So using our rule of thumb, we find for our fixed effect specification with cluster robust standard errors, the following 95% confidence interval for the causal effect of turning off search engine marketings on average GMA daily revenues. And it's actually, so it's the estimated coefficient plus minus two times the standard error. So, and here we use the cluster robust standard errors and this confidence interval is from minus 3.51 to 0.85. Um, so given that the average daily revenues in the pre-experimental period were 123.8 thousand US dollars, um, that means um, our estimator 1.33 is only 1.07% of the average revenues. And if we look basically at the largest effect in our 95% confidence interval, so this minus 3.51, that's also only 2.8% of the average uh, revenues in the pre-experimental phase. So the estimated effects are fairly small. Of turning off search engine marketing. Of course, one needs to compare this to the cost of search engine marketing, um, but doesn't look like a gigantic effect. Um, but recall, so these are not the true numbers for eBay because they were um, changed and differently scaled. But also looking at the original data set, so um, with the economists who have studied this experiment and published uh, it also find a uh, quite small effects and uh, typically not significant of search engine marketing on eBay's revenue in this experiment. In particular, they find that the cost of search engine marketing exceeded the estimated revenue gains. Um, so if they computed the return of investment for eBay, looking only at the data in the experimental period, it was negative the return of investment for search engine marketing. So what can we learn from this experimental result? Can we conclude from the study that search engine marketing does generally not pay off? No. And here are some counter arguments. Um, so with the data and the experiment, we basically can only estimate the revenue effects during the experimental phase, or at least they have only been estimated uh, with the data we looked at, so for the eight weeks period. But advertisement also has long-term effects. Yeah, for example, by increasing brand awareness, the more often you see somewhere eBay, the more aware you are of the brand and uh, that may make you more likely to be a future customer. Um, also, if you fill basically the advertisement slots for particular keywords in the search engines, that can make it harder uh, for potential competitors to enter the market. And that may also be better for your firm in the long run, even though that may not be such a good strategy from a competition policy point of view, from a total welfare point of view. Um, but surely there can be such long-term effects. But it's it's really, really tricky to, to measure long-term effects of marketing, at least if you really want to boil it down to revenue and to profits. So, um, Sure, there are these effects, but it's uncertain how large they are. And perhaps even if the return on investment on the short run is negative, maybe due to this long run effects, it's still profitable to do this search and the marketing. It could also be that the strategy which eBay used for search engine marketing was not yet optimal. Maybe they did not bid on the best keywords or they did not target the best customer groups. Maybe changing the strategy uh, could improve the profitability. Profitability. So, but in principle, you can do this. So you could run similar experiments uh, to compare different search engine marketing strategies. The question is whether the data is precise enough to that you can really identify uh, the effects of very similar strategies. It's probably not so easy, but um, in principle, you can try out different strategies and run new experiments. Then also eBay is a large, well-known firm. This means probably a lot of 
customers probably also would go directly to the eBay site or eBay may show up in the organic unpaid search results of Google. So even if we find here that perhaps for eBay search engine marketing does not seem to be important, it's much, it's not clear at all whether maybe for a smaller company who is not yet well known, search engine marketing may be much more profitable. So there's another paper by Covielli, Knizzi and Goethe uh, in 2017, who also studies search engine marketing. And the abstract, so the short summary of their article looks at follow. Companies spend billions of dollars online for paid links for, to branded search terms. Measuring the effectiveness of this marketing spending is hard. Blake Nosco and Tadelis, 2015, that's the paper we have analyzed before, ran an experiment with eBay showing that when the company suspended paid search, most of the traffic still ended up on its website. Can findings from one of the largest companies in the world be generalized? We conducted a similar experiment with Edmunds.com, arguably a more representative company, and found starkly different results. More than half of the paid traffic is lost when we shut off paid links. More than half of the paid traffic is lost. This is such a zest, money spent on search engine marketing may be more effective than previously documented. Yeah, so they have run a different experiment. I think in this experiment they did not really um, uh, assess the revenue impact. They only looked basically how much traffic is there, but they found that a lot of traffic was reduced and it suggests that there's um, really um, search engine marketing was quite important for this company, Edmunds.com. So, if you want to ev evaluate the impact of search engine marketing or of some other marketing method or some other business strategy, the important point is that you probably have to run experiments yourself. It's very hard to generalize one, uh, one finding and um, it can really depend on a lot of circumstances. And successful tech companies seem to run thousands of experiments per year. For example, you can Google how many experiments does Amazon run and you find that they really run a lot of experiments and probably a lot of different sort of experiments. Maybe they vary the prices they offer. Maybe they have experiments about their website design. They have probably experiments about search engine marketing. But um, running experiments is actually the way to evaluate different um, policy measures and to get um, consistent estimates of the causal effects for example, of search engine marketing for your company.